You gave Reed Shepard my notes. I was brutal. His earlier books were on the bestseller list for a year. Last two didn't make it a month. What does a romance editor know about mystery writing? The romantic subplots, they didn't work. It was like a bad egg in a cake, okay? It ruined the whole thing. You should read my page notes. Can you still be chess? Thank you. What are sisters for? Hey, Mom. I am just pulling up right now. I think it's uh, one main lobster roll. What, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? For your information, I'm here for a wedding. I heard about you and Zach. Are you okay? Oh. I'm fine. I just worry about you being all alone. Answering your family's inevitable questions is more than I can handle right now. I have a solution. A fake date. I want you to help me rewrite my book. I would love to help you, but I'm already squeezing in work around wedding events. Like trying to find a wedding date? So you saw that. You've never even been to one of my family's events. You agreed to go to all of them. Our story needs as much of a romantic rewrite as my novel. Certainly a mutually beneficial arrangement. Ready to be grilled? Let's go. Tell us about your first date. We started off at a bookstore. We went to O'Reilly's. I always wanted to go there. Sounds like a really good first date. Reed is so dreamy. Absolutely perfect for you. Me and my mom talk nearly every day. They agreed with your notes, by the way. Did it hurt admitting that? Chemistry between you two is palpable. I'm going away now. Good night. Sweet dreams of Reed. Just trying to work, but I keep getting distracted. The hero, he's found the one person who fills his heart with joy, but he's... He's scared to admit how he feels. We're friends, maybe, at best. All right, seriously. But when it's your heart on the line, it's harder than it seems. You look beautiful. Thank you. I promise to be your partner and to support you with love. You showed me what was missing from my book. You also showed me what was missing from my life.